Hey, what's going on everyone? Happy Tuesday. So did you guys have a great day today? Did you start it on a positive note? You know, I find that if you start your day with a on a positive note, that nothing can really bring you down the rest of the day. But you have to make that constant conscious decision to keep that po positivity going. If something happens, uh, you just have to brush it off and continue moving forward. Who doesn't want to be proud of what they do? Everyone wants to, right? Still, we're not proud of everything we do all the time. You know why? The reason's simple. It's because we don't always give 100%. Why is giving 100% so important? It's because when you give 100%, you increase the chances of being successful in what you do. Also, you won't have any regrets if you fail. Failing or succeeding is not in anyone's hands. Giving 100% is. The problem with not giving 100% is that you curse yourself for not accomplishing the things, although you feel you could. It brings up the questions, what if I gave 100%? What if I did better? What if I gave my all? When you curse yourself, you certainly don't feel happy. The first duty we have to ourselves is to make sure we, have, we feel happy. When we're born, we knew how to give 100%. If we needed something, we just asked. Like that toy that we really liked. We used to do everything and anything possible to get the attention of our parents to get what we wanted. Our main goal was to obtain that toy and nothing else. We were given 100% to accomplish that task. Then we were taught to be reasonable human beings who understand and practice rules of the society, such as the function that we're supposed to play, don't rock the boat. We developed an understanding of right and wrong, moral, moral and immoral, practical and impractical, and what will, what will look good or bad. Fears also play a huge role in not being able to give 100%. When fear takes over our actions, we fail to give our best. The existence of fear itself creates thoughts in our head which take away from the attention that could be put into the work we do. If we allow fear to take over our actions, then obviously more of, our, more of our actions will be powered by fear. When our actions are powered by fear, we won't be able to give 100%. Get a clear idea of what your priorities are. Eliminate what's not important and invest all of your energies in the most important task, i.e. your goals, your dreams. Those are the most important things that you have. Think about what your goal is, what you're gonna to need to accomplish that goal. And then invest all of your energy into obtaining that goal. Giving 100% to reach that outcome. We need to stop letting fear dictate what we can and cannot accomplish in life. We need to step up and give 100% in all we do. I hope you guys had a great day today and that you're looking forward to tomorrow. It's gonna be another great day, another beautiful day, another positive day. So I just wanna tell you guys, I love you guys. I hope you have a great evening and I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget 
Take it one day at a time, and one step at a time.